Mic check, mic check, one, two. Hey, yo, I am super hyped for new Andy. This is gonna be literally my first full length album drop since I became a fan. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first single leading into that. So I'm super hyped. Roll it. Now, obviously, at this point, everybody should be well aware that I'm a fan of Andy Mineo. He is probably my favorite artist in CHH. Like, as of today, his lyrical style, the way that he releases content, all of the artistic direction behind every single one of the projects that he does. It, it's, it's, so, it's so thought out and it's so calculated and that makes for such, it makes for such a visceral release whenever whenever you hear songs and you see the merch and, and you see the, the aesthetic, basically, of every release. And this right here Neverland 2 this is my first first full length album when it comes to when it comes to Andy Mineo releasing songs I will be listening to part one I'll probably do a whole album review on it I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it on Twitch or just put it up on YouTube but we're gonna do that before Neverland 2 drops which hopefully is here coming up you know soon so either way I'm excited new Andy new track I'm just, I'm here for you. Yo, follow your boy, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Hit up the Twitch, most importantly. Most of the full-length album reviews, as well as new singles, will be done on Twitch on Fridays whenever new music drops. Andy would have been there, but obviously he dropped this on Monday instead of Friday, which is no big deal. Now y'all are getting a YouTube video for it. But other than that, we got Andy Minio, MPJ Freestyle. Let's get it. <laughs> I live my life, they live vicarious. I always go high when they try to bury us. I'm not a mm. vibe, I'm an experience. Mm. Feel me? Bro, you see what I'm saying? Like, lyrical style right out the gate is fire. I go high when they want to bury us. Like, I take the high road whenever they want to bring us down. I'm not a vibe. I'm an experience. And this is literally what I was talking about in the intro when I said that his music is, is just a whole ass, like, re it's, a, it's a calculated release. So it's just a whole ass experience because of the calculated release when it comes to merch. Like, it's all, it all feels so cohesive. So it really is an experience. You know what I'm saying? That's super fire, bro. And he said, I live my life and they live vicarious like they're not living their life they're living their life through somebody else they live their life through people that they see on instagram and wishing that they could be them like i don't live vicariously like that i just do me it's so hot bro i'm telling you and they try to bury us i'm not a vibe i'm an experience mm. feel me Hard. Things on my mind, I guess I share it I think it's time to become a parent I don't got mine, and plus I've been scared That having a child is gonna interfere With all of the goals I have for Oh my god, bro, do you see Like the, do you see the Opening my heart, opening my fears Opening my, being vulnerable To everybody that listens to my music Right there, bro, a parent, like literally Like a parent, like I can see it, but literally A parent to a child, and I'm Scared to do that, because if I have a child Will it interfere with, will it interfere with the goals that I have currently and it's a real feeling that people have you know what I'm saying like especially someone in Andy Mineo's position who's trying to like catapult his his career to as high as it can go is having a child literally going to stop that and of course he'll if they do have a child he'll he will be extremely happy and you know he'll love the kid but right now just thinking about the child probably brings anxiety just because he doesn't know what, if he's ready or not for that who how could you ever know especially as a first time parent there is no way that you're ever going to be aware of what sacrifice it takes for you because you've never gone through it. It's gone in a fear. Well, all of the goals, I have a career. When I get my own, I gotta be there. Can't be like Joe and go disappear. Mm. It hurt the most when also, obviously, his dad was not in his life, so that's also going to be another fear of his because that he he knows about that child. He knows about that abandonment, you know. It hurt the most when you really do care. I know that apathy cover the fear. Can't oh. run away from the pain that won't heal. The only way you could get through is to feel. Got one more year in the mind of the You can't hear through the pain. You can't. You can't. The only way to get through the pain is to feel. And do you hear the cadence switch up at that? Like the now it's melodic style. Bruh. And this is what I always say a good lyricist is. is someone who can take like the pain that they have and open themselves up vulnerably to their audience and write it in a way that even if you've never been through it, you could feel what it feels like to have at least just a just a glimpse of what it feels like to be like left as a child. You have a glimpse into seeing the way that the way that he thinks about pain and the way that he thinks about processing it. It's crazy, bro. You could get through is the feel. Got one more year and I'm out of the deal. Might go independent and do it like Dale. Bet on myself. Hey, I don't think I can fail. Cause I'm on the way when I ship it gon' sell. Yeah. 
too many people out here that's wave ship sail that's that's hard and that shout out to dilly indie tribe that that was fire I'll bet on myself i don't think i could fail because i'm on the way when i ship it gonna sell yeah ain't too many people out here that's free if i could be anyone wanna be me Ooh. I don't waste time, ain't no nobody. I'm too busy working on me. Oh. I won't tell the truth about you just as long as you don't try to lie on me. Oh. Don't stress on it, just breathe. Yeah, don't stress on it, just. It's a lot of merit. This is fire, bro. <laughs> the cadence switch up, the melody, the hook, and then the beat kind of had like a different sound in the middle of the of the hook, so that way you know that we transitioned into it. Like the production came in in full, and then now it's coming out once we get to once we get to the next verse. Dog, this is fire. Ain't too many people out here that's free. If I could be anyone, I'd be me. You know, like I'm not trying to be or have somebody else's life. And then right there, when we got to the last moment of the hook and we're drop, we're about to jump into verse number two, like the clap hits and then it, and then it's silent and then the beat drops in with the second verse. It's super fire. Don't right here, right here, right here. Don't stress, Don't stress on just it's a lot of married men in the hard, NBA. Bro. Got shorties in cities on NDAs. Lord, keep your oh. hand on MPJ. Daddy gonna keep his pants on and behave. I don't want... Bro, if you never, if you have never listened to, if you don't watch the ESPYs when Drake was hosting, you gotta watch. I forgot the name. I don't. I forgot what it is. I forgot the name of it. You can find it on YouTube. It's a uh, side something talking about like all the side chicks that the NBA players have on the side and and how they're not allowed to be in the spotlight and they're there watching their boo be with be with the actual main chick. Hilarious, bro. If you've never seen it, you gotta watch that. But it's a crazy line. A lot of people in the NBA got got side chicks in different cities on non disclosure. Agreements. Agreements, literally signed saying that they're not gonna tell anybody. That's hard. Day, daddy gonna keep his pants on and behave. I don't wanna see him turning out like Dwight. Started off right, then he lost his light. Said that he would do all things to Christ. I mean, he did do all things. Yikes. Uh, really have respect for no <laughs> yikes. Christ, I mean he did do all things. Yikes. Never really have respect for no rappers who give away money and they do it on camera. Exploit Why? more for PR stunts. I respect them all if it's on a hush. I mean, what's the Bro, that's always gotten me. That oh that's always been cringe and rubs me the wrong way. When people like when people give away things to people or when they act like they're doing services of charity, when really if the camera wasn't on I don't think that they would be doing that. You know, they're only doing it for the image, for what it should look like to say like, oh, he gives back to the people. Your image should not be the reason why you're doing it. I mean, what's the motive when you do something good, but you need everybody to notice? Mm, see? I don't know, bro. I just wonder if they do the same thing when the cameras ain't rolling. Uh, this got me hot. Men get their body count up. They belt get a notch. I don't understand. Y'all call him the man. A girl do the same. They call her a thot. Give us a thot. I gotta stop. All right, let me tell you my let me tell you my mentality on this. First, I do agree. I agree, but I also see the I also see the point or I also see the logic in terms of why it's one sided or why there's a double why there's a double standard there. Not saying that the double standard is correct. So first off, like I said, I don't agree. Like when dudes get to when dudes get to go and, and have sex with whoever they want and they're the man because they pulled all these chicks and I'm on 30 bodies now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't agree that that dudes are able to do that and girls can't do that but in nature in general the dudes are the hunters and the girls are the ones that the dudes are trying to impress to get to that one person anything that has a mating call associated with it or a peacock like fanning out and and doing that to get to the girl so that way she can choose you know which one she wants in the natural non-human species world it is natural for for there to be some type of like headbutting between the guys that are trying to go after the girl and she chooses the the victor so that way natural selection can just keep on so because that's the way it works in the natural space and we technically are our mammals and and we're just animals at the end of the day too that can do math and get our feelings hurt that that is why the mentality is what it is like like it shouldn't be an easy process for a guy or multiple guys to get a girl because out in the natural world it is not an easy process for that and again i'm not saying that i agree with it i'm just letting you know where the argument on that side comes from and a girl just saying the color of that give us some thought y'all gotta stop pulling up to these protests and you hop out get you a shot take you a shot then post it online like a photo op can't sit by bro i knew that was coming as soon as he said y'all gotta stop pulling up to protests and like doing it for especially when he just said before like what are you really doing it for? Are you doing it for the gram or are you doing it just to, are you doing it to actually make a difference? 
gotta stop pulling up to these protests and you hop out get you a sign take you a shot then post it online like a photo op can't sit by and watch i'm not jerry farwell Ooh. <laughs> that might have just cost me a bag from over there all oh, well when all of them cars dealt oh, well. i got aces and kings inside of my deck i look down at steph just shot me a text i go for the oh. heart like owen and brett oh. some things i didn't get off my chest i go for the heart like owen and brett that's hard. But if I'm not mistaken, heart is like spelled H-A-R-T, or is it actually spelled E-H-E-A-R-T, the last name? I don't know, but I get the wordplay. That was fire. Like Owen and Brett, some things I had to get off my chest. It's funny how all of these companies, all of a sudden, are caring about loving these people. They never defend it. Bet when that money is threatened, they start getting friendly. It's evident. Y'all don't care about answers. Y'all care about not getting canceled. Oh. Wanna make a difference. They care about people not just when it's good for business. Y'all don't care about, y'all don't care actually about the answers. Y'all only care when when you're at threat of getting canceled. Bro, this is exactly what Bo Burnham was talking about in like his interlude in the most recent special online. Like company, like, like people want to know if the companies that they support are supporting their causes, which is going to raise more brand awareness for that company. By like, who are you, Bagel Bites? What do you stand for? Do these major companies actually care about Pride Month? Do they actually care about, about Black History Month? Or is it like, we know we have to care because if we don't, then we'll receive backlash for it. Make a difference and care about people not just when it's good for business. Neverland 2 on the way, promise. Super hard. Busy man, I'm grown. Buying houses. Cabinets and countertops, I mean. My boys out here Lost doing boys tour this fall. Lord willing. Yeah. yeah. My boys are a house flipper now, son. I don't know if y'all know. Yeah. yeah. Ain't too many people out here that's free. If I could be anyone to be me. All right. I don't waste time, ain't no nobody. I'm too busy working on me. I won't tell the truth about you just as long as you, you don't try to lie, lie on me. me. Don't Super stress tight. on it, just breathe. Yeah. Don't, don't stress, stress on it, just breathe. Bro, all right, so my favorite part in the production of the hook is that don't stress on it. Like in the background, super tight, super tight, super tight, that one part. Body, I'm too, too busy, busy working, working on me. Hard. I won't tell the truth about you just as long as you don't, don't try to lie, lie on me. Hard. Don't stress on it. On it. Yeah. Don't, don't stress, stress on it. it. That's yeah. tight, bro. Woo. That was that was Herman Miller that was about to come through right there. Super tight, yo. Andy is just too smooth. His lyrical style is too confident. It's confident, but humble. He's not trying to be all in your face about it. He's like, yeah, my lifestyle is getting lavish. Yeah, you know, all of that. But I'm not going to put it in your face like that because that's not what's important. Super fire. Now I don't even know if this will actually be on the album because it's a freestyle. So we'll see, I guess. But 1 to 10 right there. Production wise, I like that chill style of production. And then there's a lot of there's a lot of movement and the 808 is hard. And then there's a lot of panning and then the just the melody. The sample is crazy. Like production wise, I'm probably saying like an eight. Lyrical wise, I'm probably saying like an eight. So it's probably eight. <laughs> eight out of ten for me. That's hard, bro. You don't have to be a fan of CHH music to be a fan of Andy Minio because or you don't have to be super religious to be a fan of Andy Minio because that's not. That's not really his style anymore. He's just a confident, talented rapper and producer. And he's just doing his thing on the mic and, and, and speaking his truth. And his truth has, has the Lord and Savior in it. But it's not all in your face, you know? It is like, we're just vibing over here. Super tight, can't wait for the album. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you see, please consider liking, leaving a comment down below. You like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. I don't know why I did this. This is a signature, not a subscription. If y'all guys wanna support the channel, if you're capable of doing so, the best way to do it is either through Patreon with a subscription or with Twitch with a subscription over there. You can follow the Twitch for free. I, I, would, I would definitely encourage it. We break down music and react on Thursday and Fridays and we play video games midweek but if you want to monetarily contribute if you want to monetarily support you can do so either with a paid subscription on Twitch or on Patreon those are my only two forms of income right now so anybody that's willing to do that over there I greatly appreciate it you help support the channel and the bills around the house so I can stay in front of this camera for y'all guys but other than that follow all the socials all these links are in the description below and that brings us to the very end and I appreciate everybody's time and like I always say go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.